Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and droids. Man, am I in a really good mood. You want to know why? Because I'm ready for the next evolution of power and dominance for our Lord and Savior for the free to play community. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. You know, recently we had the news of Ben Solo coming to Galaxy Heroes and we're currently grinding for it in Conquest. And my suspicion is Ben Solo is going to help Ray obtain <laughs> an unnecessary higher level of power to her kit. And I'm calling, I think he's going to be able to help Ray counter our typical Jedi Master Kenobi teams that linger out there. Commander so uh, so Katano with the anti insta kill immunity baked into the kit. Whoa! But the point that I'm really excited for is because this is the first step into a broader future for Galaxy Heroes where we're going to be adding eh, it's hard to say when they're going to do it i'm not sure if every single conquest from the next couple months is going to be for another uh gl counterpart or gl pair but what i'm excited for is that this is going to be a thing moving forward I, originally i was worried they weren't going to give any sort of conquest unit to race perimeter kyle ren sith eternal and jedi master luke well they're finally doing so and i've been asked this question a lot with the introduction of ben solo some people it's kind of fun doing these speculative videos hey you know what i'll even get the tinfoil hat up to even get a better vision of what's about to happen. Do you have what it takes to be the greatest Triple B mobile gamer of all time? Ah. Well, then you gotta play Ray Shadow Legends. They actually release content. Doom Tower with over 120 floors with tons of bosses to take down. And the Hydra Raid Boss. Yes, people still make raids in other video games. This month in Raid, we have a non-stop schedule of special events, including the Ford Pass Season 3. Raid's bringing out some new champions along with some awesome looking champion skins. Death Knight is becoming a legendary champion. So click on my link or scan my QR code and you'll get rewards worth over $30. All this treasure will be waiting for you right up here. These rewards are only available for the next 30 days. But it's just fun to kind of speculate what might be coming in the upcoming months. Ben Solo probably won't be unlocked till roughly August, uh, not August, October. What's going to come after that? Now, I don't know if this is going to be the next thing. They might take a break from adding GL Conquest pairing units like Maul, Ben Solo. The list goes on and on. Commander Sokotano. But let's get some speculation out there and kind of address some of the weak points uh, for these characters. Now, the first one that I think out of all the Galactic Legends, it wasn't Ray that needed to be the first for the <laughs> Legacy Galactic Legend. I know, my gosh. <laughs> Old Galactic Legends. Yuck. Sith Eternal needed the most love out of all of them. Right now we have a Datacron that <laughs> fixes his kit and should have been part of the kit instead of monetized, gated viability behind Datacrons. Whole other point of conversation. But the main issue of Sith Eternal is he's way too reliant firstly on having two members. If there's not two members, he's never gonna hit ultimate most likely. 9.9 .9 out of 10 times, he's not going ultimate. That's a huge weakness from secondly yeah there's sit synergy but there's really no sit synergy because the main focal point of sith eternal is not using sith unless you have the new datacon which gives you 80 percent alter charge right from the very big uh, get-go if there's a sith character so if we are going to get a conquest pairing for this character which i hope he is going to be the next galactic legend that's going to get a conquest unit whether it's the next one or the one after that whatever it might be here's what i'm hoping for now this one mm, i will admit this one's a bit tricky I think it only could be one of two things realistically. The, the, if I had to put money down, I would say I would... <laughs> General Pride is probably where I would put my money on. He's loyal. He was executing out as, as Sith Eternal's Order 66 2.0, whatever you want to call it. It kind of makes the most sense for me. However, they could also give him Supreme Leader Snoke. I know this might be a bit more controversial, but he said he created Snoke. The problem is, I don't know if Snoke or even General Pryor Commander, neither of them are Sith, but as we've been seeing, you don't need to have Sith characters to get the most out of Sith Eternal. It could be some other character like Armor, Wat Tambor Thrawn that adds some sort of viability that's much, <laughs> way too important and much needed for the Sith Eternal kit. So it, really, I think it only could be one of these two. We really didn't see anything else during Sith Eternal's time they interacted. He interacted with Kylo. He interacted with Rey, he had a brief interaction with Ben Solo, and then he talked about making Snoke, and of course, General Pride executed his order. It would be funny, uh, from Battlefront 2, you know, when you had Robo Palpatine that carried out the orders when the, after uh, Return of the Jedi, 
Uh, the point being is, out of all the Galactic Legends, this one needs the most help. And I think we're probably looking at Pride Supreme Leader Snoke, potentially. But moving on, uh, the one that I'm really excited for is Supreme Leader Kara. Now, the crazy thing is, um, like, unlike Lord Vader, that kind of needs, you know, Maul. I don't even know if Ray really needs Ben Solo. You're going to just achieve a higher level of standardized power. Supreme Leader Kyle Ren, for being one of the first Galactic Legends, beats pretty much every GL, really only struggles against Jedi Master Luke Skywalker because of the opening ability blocks, and that, that can kind of throw a little wrench in there, but he can sometimes beat him. That's really the only thing, so it's kind of hard to say, like, what's the weakness of this guy? Like, maybe a way to, like, always get a kit that's always going to let him critically hit, even if there's critical to hit immunity or something like that. It's It's... Really hard to find a weak spot. I will give the credits uh, where it's due. The developers are, I'd say, you know, eight, seven out of 10 times. They're, they usually hit the, the, the mark on characters, kits. Sometimes they're not fully appreciated right away, but sometimes down the road, like Dark Town, I'm starting to like her more now. Didn't like her last year, but Malgus made a bit more sense. There's not a lot of bad characters. Um, maybe I'm speaking too soon. Inquisitors were a bit, I still have a, a pretty bad stench in my mouth, but you know what I'm getting. I, again, seven out of 10 times. So it makes me curious what would they would do for Kylo Ren. I've seen a few suggestions for you guys. I have a few suggestions of my own. Uh, I would think Supreme Leader Snoke would make the most sense as the Conquest pairing for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, since that's what we primarily saw up until The Last Jedi, where he had the split. <laughs> but if, let's say, they give Snoke the Sith Eternal, I think the other obvious one is going to be the Knights of Ren now. To talk about a, a crew that looked a lot cooler than they actually were. They didn't really do a whole lot. In the movies, I mean, heck, they all have individual names here. I mean, this is the first time seeing the names. Eight Black, Koruk, Trojgen, Ushar, Karme. I don't think these par their parents love them. Those are horrible names for a child. But I digress here. This is one I saw quite a lot out there, and I don't know if I buy it, but it would be kind of funny. Um, here's a little picture of Spirit of with the crew. So they could maybe add a... I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really... Like, Conquest students, you have to have a certain level of hype you know a certain level of importance and i just don't feel like these guys were important but then again the interceptor really wasn't that important of a ship but uh yeah you know what i'm getting at though but i saw a lot of people say hey maybe it's gonna be sith ray <laughs> i mean we've seen characters be made for briefer appearances out there um it's hard to say i love the idea of an empress ray i really wish disney went down the path of ray going dark kylo going light i think that would have been a lot more interesting uh, in my opinion, uh, I would love to see Empress uh, Ray Palpatine, but I don't know if that's going to be, uh, it was just mostly a brief vision. That's the main problem. It wasn't really a character. It was a brief vision. It would be interesting to see if they ever go down that route. So that's a possibility right there. And really at the end of it all, we all, it's, we only have one more character. I mean, we, we don't know if Jabba's going to get a pairing right now. It doesn't seem like he's going to have a conquest paired unit with him. Uh, the question is, is Bib Fortuna going to be the last marquee character? to be required for Jabba. And if, if Bib Fortuna is not going to be the third marquee character for Jabba the Hutt, I'm almost certain we're going to get a Conquest. Even then, I don't know if Bib Fortuna is really Conquest worthy, but uh, that's kind of my expectation. Tinfoil Hat, they want to talk about Jedi Master Luke Skywalker and what could be in the future for them. What are you feeling? Listen, I know Jedi Luke's in the game, but that's not quite... It wasn't a Conquest character. And the other fact of the matter is, I mean, he works well with Jedi Master Luke, but you're, you don't often see Knight Luke and Master Luke put together. You usually see Knight Luke with Jedi Knight Revan. They get the most out of the Jedi Knight Revan team, and then you have a Jedi Master Luke team. So this one's a, a really tricky situation. Now, keep in mind, we're thinking way too narrowly. I mean, heck, Maul was added. And by some logic, again, we have to understand Galaxers is not meant to be 100% on lore but maul is the main engine in my opinion to lord vader and was the conquest unit for lord vader even though maul hated anakin he wanted to kill him before he turned into a giant crybaby and threw over the galactic republic and spawned the empire so we might be thinking too narrowly it might not be a character that's um that has any relationship it's just like oh here's a character and by the way it's supposed to work with jedi master luke skywalker but we're gonna kind of stay on the straight and narrow a little bit longer Really, Ben or uh, Jedi Master Luke Skywalker really only had interactions with with um, Rey, the little maids of the planet, uh, Octu, uh, the the milker, the the, the whatever called the the giant elephant cow, whatever the heck that thing was. Um, I mean, we did see, for example, Grogu interactive. Uh, it was Jedi Luke at the time inside of Mandalorian, but 
we, you know, Grogu, at least as far as I know, didn't really stay with Luke that long. So I don't even know if that could happen. The only thing that really makes sense is maybe a new Yoda, Force Ghost Yoda. We haven't, we don't have any Force Ghost characters in the game. We do have a Force Ghost type mechanic where Old Ben dies and he feeds a lot of buffs to the team. But uh, it'd be kind of interesting to see if we get a another Yoda or just look into the Force Ghost apparitions, uh, possibly, because that's where we, that's really the only other person that Luke interacted with that we saw when he's in his Hermit Master days. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of hard to say um, what it could be that could make these guys better. And, you know, we could just <laughs> speculate about the kit. There's a whole other different point of conversation. Like, even looking at Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, um, I mean, really, the main weakness with him is that the less better Jedi you put in, the worse the team goes. You know, it's not like Master Cup where you could just put any Galactic Republic team and it kind of is going to do a really good job. You need some decent Jedi to really get Master Luke to his fullest potential or maybe a character that amplifies his protection even more because as you know through legacy of the jedi or legend of the jedi with inherited teachings you're doing 60 percent of master luke's protection and translating it into damage imagine if there was a character that like you know force ghost yoda that just amplified his protection even more or maybe somehow giving luke extra teachings it's really hard to kind of speculate in the, the kids because galactic legends are so dang good but they, you know, I do think Ben Solo is kind of creative. I do think Maul's kind of creative in the fact that he helps Lord Vader get the ultimate charge really fast and does most of the killing. It feels like Commander Tano benefiting from the insta-kill, the cooldown reduction from Master Kenobi. Usually it's not so much addressing a weakness, but kind of amplifying the core of the kit. And as we're seeing of Ben Solo, you're really benefiting from Ray's ability to bounce back and forth through health quite a lot, damage immunity, and usually the strategy is trying to kill Ray as fast as possible. And Ben Solo is meant to be a wrench where you can't kill Ray until you kill Ben, but you can't kill Ben until Ray's below 50% health or whatever the threshold might be. And then Ben revives and oh man, you got to start the cycle all over again. All I can say is thank goodness Ray's data crown is going to be expired by the time Ben Solo comes out. So those are my little ideas for speculation. I think there's a big future and and I'm most, uh, mostly excited for Sith Eternal. And of course, I'm excited for Supreme Leader Kyle Ren, but it just makes you wonder, man, if these Galactic Legends Supreme Power are already this good, how much better could they get? And I guess really the ultimate question is, what's going to be the timing of all this? Are they going to start doing it back to back to back, or are they going to take little breaks here and there? But I do suspect next year we'll probably see at least another Conquest unit for one of these Galactic Legends that we talked about. We'd love to hear your thoughts. These videos are always kind of fun to kind of get ourselves excited and getting some of our Galactic Legends like Sith Eternal some much needed help so leave that like comment down below subscribe so you're not missing a thing thank you so much for stopping by and as always remember it's great to be in the empire today